Hello and welcome back. If you're a long time subscriber, I haven't posted a video in probably a couple of years. I'm still here, just been busy at work. I haven't really done much with the Hot Wheels. Little guy's really not into them as much as he was. So, and that was mostly for him. I do have one that I started like a year ago. Uh, hopefully I'll get it uploaded eventually, uh, maybe next month or so, we'll see. But what I have here is uh, for me, like, one of the holy grails of RC and uh, maybe in an upcoming video I'll show you some RC builds. I've built quite a few RC in the past year, mostly vintage or repops of vintage. Uh, this is a, as you can see, a Tamiya or Tamiya or Tamiya, whatever you want to call it. This is the uh, Porsche Turbo RSR Type 934, um, 12 scale. This was actually Tamiya's first RC car. And essentially, it was an RC car based off of a plastic model. And as you'll see, this one is in a little bit of rough shape. I actually found it on Marketplace. It was a good find. I got it for a very fair price. And it came with, and I'll show you everything it comes with. And this is going to be an introduction video. And then we'll get into maybe restoring this. But uh, it comes with this old radio, this uh, Heath kit. Very old, plugged into the wall, very unique. I'm not going to reuse this. I'll probably post this for sale. It's got some paint that's flaky. Maybe I'll try to repaint it. Probably not. Um, that was in the box, but original box. And here comes the finale, or the grand opening, I should say. The ta-da. So we'll look at the car in a moment here, but we've got our original manual. And then we've got a lot of manuals for the radio kit. Uh, this is pretty cool. I mean, you actually built these kits or these radios uh, with all the resistors and everything. And it's got step-by-step -step on how to build it. There's actually schematics if you pull them out. Uh, this is just uh, some sh showing you how to plug it in, but there are schematics in there. And here's another manual for that which this one actually has a receipt. One of them has a receipt in them. Um, eh, we'll look for that in a moment. All the manuals, very cool. Original box, here's a receipt. This is the beginner's guide, but this receipt is pretty neat. Uh, this is just a battery though. Uh, apparently they had their own electronic center. There was a, a, a place in Wisconsin, Milwaukee, 1979. The battery was $13.95, which kind of high for a battery, I would think, back then. But batteries weren't as cheap as they are now. But more beginner's guides on building it, so on and so forth. But we're not here for the radio. We're here for this. As you can see, this is not green. It's black. And we'll get to that in a moment. But... The great part, here is the, obviously the chassis. All the gears are still intact and we're gonna take this completely apart and uh, attempt to rebuild it. I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna do like kind of like a resto mod. I will probably use updated electronics, we'll see. But very cool, uh, the heat link servos, That is a battery, and then there's another servo which controls the, the forward reverse. But what's really nice about the actual body is it, or the, the, the chassis, it's it's dirty, but it doesn't really appear, appear to have been used. And the tires and rims are in excellent shape. There's no cracks. They're still very pliable. They're not glued on, which is a good thing in this case. And it's complete, um, minus the driver. We've got that. And then we have the body, which this is my, uh, this is how I got this for the cheaper uh, price, we'll say. It's been painted black, clearly. Uh, it's missing a headlight. I do have, and I'll show you in a moment, I do have the, the trunk lid or the engine compartment lid. I have a Porsche, so it's not a trunk. The trunk or the frunk is up front, but it's painted black, so we got to get that off. And then 
this almost looks like some kind of fiberglass. I, I, it's to keep the body rigid and to keep the, the panels on. I assume that's what they used it for, but it's, uh, it, they went haywire with it. It's very mounted in there. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out. We will see. Um, I do know that I can probably get this paint off, but uh, yeah, we shall see. Missing the trim around the windows. I do have this window in a bag, and I'll show you. This window's here. So all the windows are there, except the two driver or the two uh, windows are missing the, the frame around them, which seems to be pretty common. Um, I do have the mirrors. They've never been used. Pretty neat. What I may end up doing, I'm going to attempt to clean this up as best I can, but uh, they came out with, a, a, I think in 2021, which they're a little pricey right now. Um, Tommy came out with a model that was this exact model. And I believe, I haven't seen it in person, but I'm gonna buy it. Uh, they're fairly expensive, close to $300, but I'm gonna buy it because I can use some parts. Like the headlight will definitely be the same. But I believe, I don't believe the body is any thinner. Uh, this is fairly thick, but I believe it's the same thickness as this. I believe this is based off of a model. Well, it is based off a model, but I believe it's the same body. I don't know. I still need the kit for the prices or for the pieces. So that won't be a huge uh, concern. Looks like they have maybe a piece broken there. Um, so we'll see. But I'd really like to use this original body. Uh, I'd like to clean it up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how that, that all plays out. We'll have to be very careful with that. Um, here are some additional parts, mostly for the radio. We even have some items that are still in the trees. So the side mirrors are still in the trees. Uh, these are the visors, which I don't believe you used in the RC kit. Uh, it's funny when you search for the spare body kit for this car it's essentially the, the the model same exact thing the trees look the same here's the glass for the side mirrors and then in this bag here uh, also in this bag was the 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 grill and the rear uh, engine lid compartment lid so those are there and some various screws all the original packages are right here mostly for the radio but some are for the car so Whenever they built this, they actually kept all the little blister packs with uh, where the screws came in. And then for the car, they kept all the, the plastic uh, packages or the, the, the actual bags that all the parts came in. Pretty wild. Um, so it's fairly complete. But yeah, it's going to be, uh, this is going to be a lot of work. Maybe that's not broken. No, that doesn't look broken. Actually, that looks like it's molded that way. Not sure why. <laughs> so we're going to start with this. Uh, this is just an introductory. I, I don't think I'm going to do anything in this video. I just wanted to give you a, a little sneak peek. I think I'm going to start with taking the windows out, though. Um, like this one here. It's supposed to have a screw. It's actually glued in, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, I'm not really worried about gluing them back in. It's just getting them out. I mean, I don't know what that looks like epoxy. And this could be some kind of epoxy. Who knows? I, I don't know. They, it's, it's everywhere. So it's very thick on the doors. But it, it almost looks like a fiberglass. God, I hope not. And essentially, I could probably leave that in there. But I don't want to do that. It will drive me up a wall. Um, so... And it could be just for stiffening. I'm not sure. So anyway, there you have it. We're going to get this bad boy uh, hopefully up and running condition. Uh, another thing I may do is I may, uh, obviously I said I may use a more modern electronics, definitely servos. I may try to use some uh, just uh, lithium cell, cells, C cells, and just use that as the battery pack. Um, just maybe rewire it. We'll see. I don't know. So looking forward to this one. I've been out of town. I actually was out of town and found this out of town. Uh, that receipt said Wisconsin. I actually found this in Illinois. So that's kind of neat. So it's not, it never went far from home. So that's it for this one. Quick and easy. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Uh, if, 
I'm glad to be somewhat back. I don't know how often I'm going to post, but uh, I appreciate everyone, and thank you for watching.